in what is becoming an every other day situation for the Baltimore Ravens. More breaking news has occurred with the Lamar Jackson situation as the quarterback announced on Twitter that he has requested a trade from the Baltimore Ravens seeking a new team and a new deal outside of the non-exclusive franchise tag, which the Baltimore Ravens have placed on him this offseason. Lamar Jackson has said and has sent out tweets reading, in regards to my future plans, as of March 2nd, I requested a trade from the Ravens organization for which the Ravens have not been interested in meeting my value. Any and everyone that has met me or been around me knows I love the game of football and my dream is to help a team win the Super Bowl. You are, you all are great, but I had to make a business decision that was best for my family and I. No matter how far I go or where my career takes me, I'll continue to be close to my fans of Baltimore Flock Nation and the entire state of Maryland. You'll see me again. A quarterback that has been under the spotlight all season long at just 26 years old has thrown for 12,000 yards and 101 touchdowns for this organization, but does not seem to have a home or a value within the NFL. All we know so far are that teams have come out and said they are not going to pursue Lamar Jackson this offseason. Meanwhile, no one, and literally I mean no one, has come out and said we are going to pursue Lamar Jackson at this time. The Indianapolis Colts and the Minnesota Vikings have been named dark horses to sneak in and sign Lamar and possibly trade for him before the NFL draft. Here's the thing about the trade request. If the Baltimore Ravens do decide to follow through with that request and move on from Lamar Jackson, they will not need to require two first round picks in order to send him to wherever he is received. That team will take on the non-exclusive franchise tag. It will also take on Lamar Jackson, but there is no need to swap two first-round picks. It is an open negotiation, and both sides will be able to come up with fair compensation. But what is the right value when a guy like Russell Wilson just a year ago went for multiple first-round picks when the Cleveland Browns and Deshaun Watson worked out a fully guaranteed deal? It's hard to determine what a 26-year-old former NFL MVP has in store for his next contract and for any trade negotiations that happen with the team and the Baltimore Ravens. It is a very, very interesting day for the Baltimore Ravens. It's a very interesting offseason. If they move on from Lamar Jackson and do not add another corner quarterback this offseason, they'll be looking at Tyler Huntley and Anthony Brown as their quarterbacks for 2023. You don't know where that takes them or high, how high their ceiling is with either one of those two throwing the football. But for right now, Lamar Jackson remains with the Baltimore Ravens. He has until July 15th to sign his non-exclusive franchise tag, wherever that may be, but he's hoping it's outside of Baltimore. And as of now, you have to believe that the chances of him putting on a Ravens helmet once again are very, very slim.